Hey, it's Techno with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPad Pro if it has the black screen of death or basically not turning on. It's completely dead and can't do anything. You want to follow these steps to hopefully fix the problem for you. So let's get started. So if you're experiencing the issue, the first thing to do is kind of go ahead and tap around the different screen here to make sure that it isn't just simply, especially use three fingers, that it doesn't just go completely blind because it doesn't recognize your feature. I know it sounds a little silly, but sometimes it might be simple as that. Now, if you're still having issues, the next thing to do is if you have Siri turned on, ask Siri to turn up the brightness. So say, hey Siri, turn off, turn up the brightness. So if Siri does recognize the voice because it's still on, it will turn on the brightness to the max. Or you can say, hey Siri, turn brightness on to max. Something along those lines. And if Siri does respond, that means you know your iPad still has power as well. Now the next thing is probably the most uh, easiest and the simplest way to fix your iPad. And probably for most people, this is what you need to do. It's called a force restart. It's a sequence of button that you have to do. What you'll need to do is locate your volume up and volume down button. So just like that, I have volume up and then volume down right, right here. Sometimes it might be on the top here. So first thing is you press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and finally hold the power button for about 20 to 30 seconds even longer up to a minute until you see the Apple logo up here so I'm going to do volume up volume down one after another and then I hold the here the power button or the lock button you know, the top button and do it for about 20 to 30 seconds even longer until you see that Apple logo and that will get the software to force itself to turn on if it's turned off for no reason and it happens over time you need to do a force restart this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be there remember press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another it has to be in a sequence quick and then finally that lock button up to even a minute or until you see the apple logo and keep on just holding it now, the other thing to do if it's still not working is ensuring that your iPad has enough charge. And you might be wondering, well, you might have charged it, but thing is, when it comes to charging, leave your iPad for about one hour to just charge completely. See if that does anything for you. And the next thing you want to do is check to ensure that your charge port is it doesn't have like dust or dirt buildup. And it happens over time. There's a lot of dust and dirt buildup that can prevent it from charging and try to clean that out as much as you can usually air can like a, with the air spray or some kind of little tw tw tweezer or something to just simply ensure that there's no dust or debris build up in there and you'll see it will definitely help along with that is you need to start uh, checking also after that is ensure that your charger cable that you have isn't de defective now when it comes to charging your iPad Pro there's usually two parts the wall adapter right this part sometimes that could go bad or sometimes the actual cable the USB-C cable sometimes they tend to go bad around here because they don't last forever and Apple cables aren't the greatest sometimes but ensure that try with a different cable if you can to see if that helps here because sometimes you find these cables break and they don't give enough charge and your iPad would be dead and you just need to charge it properly. Now after you have done that clean the charge port check to make sure that it's not the adapter itself. Finally the other thing you want to try to do is if you have any case or accessories like a keyboard I would recommend disconnecting all of that so it's such simply iPad itself without anything connected. Sometimes those connected devices can also interfere with the power of your iPad so it might not uh, work properly. Finally the last thing you can try to do is connecting your iPad to your uh, MacBook or your PC with iTunes on it. So if you have a newer MacBook you can use the Finder app or if you one, you can download the iTunes app, which is free to do, and you're going to go ahead and just connect it to see if it recognizes your iPad can when it's connected. So you'll go ahead and connect it by here, and then, of course, take it to your MacBook or PC with Finder and see if it recognizes it, and if it can, you can see if you can update it as well there as a final solution. And if none of these tips work and it's still black, it's most likely a 
defective hardware. In that case, you need to take it to the Apple store. They can take a proper exam of what's going on with the iPad. But if any case, I hope this video is helpful in fixing your iPad now and it is just turning on. If so, please make the like and subscribe button. Also share with us if you found a better way to fix this black screen of death for your iPad and the iPad Pro. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.